Hey guys, welcome back to AF Farms for another farm update. So, carrying on from last video, uh, we, so we've made a few changes. So, a few additions to the farm. Um, so this is just a bit of an update video. Quite a lot's changed, so I'll take you through what we've done and what we've improved. So, we're in August. Uh, looks like we're in summer. Much the same um, as the previous era, except now we've added... Uh, a children's playground, which is pretty neat. Uh, coming around to the side, so we planted a big, I believe this is an elm tree. Um, you can see we've got some grapes up there, which uh, we'll get to in a second. Actually, we might go around this way first. So you can see we've planted some additional vines and an olive grove up the back there, so we'll go for a bit of a look there in a minute. Uh, we've got some greenhouses, so I've just added some greenhouses in next to our grapes. Um, that stretches around uh, towards the lake, uh, but what I really want to show you is around the front. So, obviously I had a few ideas for the front. Um, obviously the side garden we went through last time I've added some of these lights so uh, what I've done is built a courtyard so let's have a look so if you remember before this was all grass and what I've done is put in a beautiful courtyard decorate it with some flowers kind of English style Sort of nice thick shrubs, uh, flowering plants. Obviously, as you can see here, and that sort of wraps around the front of the front of the house. So if we get on the deck here, have a look. So obviously we can't see the the lake anymore, which is fine. But when you're out on foot, you get a nice view just here, heading around to the pool area and such and then just walking through the front here out to the lake so if we get out in front here you can sort of see see it from the front view so it looks pretty cool let's jump into the build mode have an aerial view so you can sort of see what I've what I've gone through here looks I reckon it looks pretty good for what it is just sort of spruces up the front of the farmhouse quite a bit I've also built this garden bed on the right hand side so I've added some nice big trees the American elm over in the corner the greenhouses so next step will be to put in some paths uh, gravel track uh, to service these greenhouses and sort of loop around the lake now the rest of this area is probably just going to remain grass is there a deer in the there's a deer in the lake of course there is, oh there's two there you go. And I think I'm just going to leave this area open. I may put some more trees in, but just to sort of give you a look at what we've done so far. Pretty nice. So while we're here, we'll just jump back into first person mode and we'll cruise over to our new vineyard. So like I mentioned in the last video, I hadn't decided completely what I was going to do here. So I had decided to put some additional grapes and some additional uh, olives in. So just a decent amount to fill this area. So if we jump back into build mode, you can kind of see. So we get a good visual driving past up the hill here all the way around, which is pretty nice. And then obviously we've got our horses, they've remained the same for the moment. But yeah, that's the update for the farm and garden. So what we'll do now is we'll head over to the farm uh, silo storage area. So I've put in some production buildings. I've also put in, well basically I've completely transformed that area. So if we jump in the pickup. up. 
there let's go and check it out so you'll start to see it you might have seen a little glimmers of it as we were flying over before so basically the olive grove is still as is however I've put this I've moved the silo obviously because it was down over to the bottom left there um, but now it's located sort of centrally in this pad area and over to the middle so I'll walk you through what I've done and how I'm going to finish this off so I've got a big machine shed just here so that's housing tractors and implements and stuff I've got this little boom gate thing here so I'm going to put a guard house which is a mod either side of that and then run a chain link fence off the side and back down towards the main road so if we just go for a bit of a bit of a drive around so I've got all the tractors in here a couple of implements uh, one thing I've noticed is the cedars and the air carts are too tall for this shed so I'm gonna have to come up with something a plan for that yeah, we should be able to drive around the back here because I've given it a bit of a might be a bit of a squeeze actually this should be able to fit so on the right here we've got a uh, warehouse and central warehouse mod so we'll get to that in a little in a little minute uh, over here we've got our sprayers and just some parking so I am thinking about putting the workshop in this area but I've just come up with a layout that I'm sort of happy with and then I'm just going to build on that from there and sort of see how see how I use the area and if I want to put in some additional buildings um, then I will you can see the chain link fence there too that's just to sort of divide up the the areas a bit better so let's go and have a look at our factories so I've got one of each of the base game factories so I've got the milk the dairy I've got the modified sugar mill so the reason I went for the modified sugar mill is because it's got the loading and unloading at the front of the building whereas the base game sugar mill has the loading at the back which is a bit of a pain for this setup that I've got going so I want everything to be at the front same with the cereal factory so I've orientated that to face the road so I've got the loading area and unloading area there once again all divided by chain link fences so I'm going to finish these areas off with some additional decorations and stuff now coming around this way I've got uh, the grain mill the oil mill and the grape processing facility sort of all along here so it's just easy for me to drive the the trucks through drop off loads and really what I'm focusing on at the moment is the mill the oil mill and the grain mill to get bread and oil uh, for our productions so we can start making some money because we've spent quite a bit uh, our grain silo is the same as the one we had before except it's just been moved to a little bit more of an easy accessible location so I can easily drive the road train through here because I've got a nice run this way and a nice clear run that way to line it up and move bulk grain around easily so if we get out and have a look that's not going to tell us how much we've got on there at the moment but just starting to fill it again because obviously I had to empty it to um, move it so I emptied everything sold it and uh, bought a new one placed it down you get the idea so we've got the industrial bakeries here so let's have a look uh, so these guys are currently making bread so this is the first day they've been placed so they haven't gone through a cycle yet but we've basically got two of those so that's what these two buildings here are I've just orientated one uh, obviously this way and one this way so I've got access to the loading and unloading points not that I'm going to use them because everything's set to distribution in the production chain so basically what happens here is the 
grain gets deposited into the grain mill. The grain mill processes that to flour. The flour then gets distributed to the industrial bakery and then the industrial bakery as long as well as the other productions distributes to the warehouse to the central warehouse here so I think there's a trigger to go in possibly around the back or the side so this holds two million and at two and a half million liters of inventory so that's all your productions so it is if you're not familiar with it uh, central warehouse where are you so it's not showing up for some reason maybe because there's nothing in it yet but I was using that previously um, before I built out this area so I used it to transfer, so it does, it does work. I was using it to transport, uh, hold flour and bread mainly. And I was selling that at the farm shop just to make some money. And then obviously, if you're not familiar with this huge building here, this is a extension for the distribution warehouse. So it holds 4 million litres of product. As far as I'm aware, you can't enter it. So if I just try this door here. And I've just fenced that off as well, just to just to sort of divide the area up a little bit more. Uh, so that's underway. Um, we've just carried out a huge harvest. So we've got our canola, uh, oats, and wheat all done. Just finishing up a little bit down the bottom there. Uh, another thing that I've put in, which was very, very expensive, and I'm wondering if it was a complete waste of money, is a wind farm. So, we'll leave it there. We'll come back and talk about the wind farm uh, next video, because there's a few points I want to cover off on. So thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next one.